Clive Wilson. I'm going to explain to you now how to make one of the uh, healthiest shakes that you could make in just a couple minutes. I mean, meaning just takes a couple minutes to make. First, the simplest version that I can think of has just four ingredients. There's our protein source, which is milk or soy milk. Today I'm going to use milk since that happens to be the container I have open. A fruit source, so just whatever your favorite fruit is that you want to put in there. A starch source for muscle fueling, and then a healthy fat, in this case peanut butter, which slows down the digestion rate of the starch so that it all goes to muscle and doesn't go to fat. That four series lineup is the simplest shape you can make. One cup, one piece of fruit, one half a uh, cup of, of oats and a tablespoon of peanut butter is 100 calories, that's perfect. What I'm actually going to make now is one step up from that, my personal shake with a few extra uh, added healthy things. It raises the calories from about 400 up to 600. So this simpler shake you would drink in two sittings, half the shake, an hour or two later the other half. This more complicated one, it's 600 calories, you want that in three sittings. Wait at least an hour between drinking every third of the shake. So here we go. Milk or soy milk. One cup. Because this is the slightly larger shake, I'm going to go with a heaping half cup of grains. But since this is my fancier one, I've got three different grains here. I'm going with a little bit of rye, a little bit of quinoa, and then I'm going for the heaping half cup with regular oats. Then, the fat source. Now, I'm putting in one more protein source besides the milk, which is plain, uh, low-fat yogurt. And I'm going to use the same spoon. I don't like to make a ton of dishes doing this thing. But I never want to go from the high bacteria yogurt into the peanut butter. So I take my tablespoon of peanut butter first, and then I just plunk in a quarter cup to a third cup of plain yogurt. Then comes the apple. I'm going to uh, put in a little bit of, uh, of of pomegranate, not not the shell, but just some of these seeds. Another, um, I'm going to add some frozen berries. I just buy these at Costco. There's just one ingredient in these berries, and that's the berries that are in. Keep it nice and simple. And then in addition to the peanut butter, I have another healthy fat source, which is ground flax. So about a tablespoon of that. That meets your omega-3 fat needs for the day. So those are our two fat sources. And now I'm going to put in some spices and herbs. So some raw green tea, just about a half teaspoon. Cinnamon, about a whole teaspoon. A little bit of carrot. Aniseed and uh, raw cocoa uh, pieces. And that's it. If you want to make it a little bit thinner, and I, I feel like it flows down really nicely, you add some ice cubes to it. Because I forgot to bring out a, a glass, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to drink it straight from this. Mm, very good. So next time we're going to make the super hardcore veggie Dr. Clyde shake. I'll see you then.